Let's throw away. Let's throw away. Oh, finally! Okay, that's kind of what it's meant to sound like a little bit. Um, I'm still practicing, so yeah. Welcome to vlog two. Mmm, ramen noodle house in Sapporo, Hokkaido. Uh, quite famous for lots of little noodle houses everywhere. Uh, and that particular one, this is the owner. Uh, he was so friendly and so nice. He kept, kept talking to me and then kept saying things like, Oh, New Zealand, New Zealand. And, and then go on in Japanese and be in exchange, which was quite nice. Uh, this is another place, me eating Egon noodle out with the SA crew, and uh, this is my dinner at home, egg on toast. Yeah, Japanese food is um, far around, it's so amazing, and it's, well, it's beautiful, I love it. Uh, that's eating out, but um, going to the supermarket has been a little bit of a challenge for me, because everything is so different, um, I recognise no well, none of the um, the products in the supermarket for a start, and, and second, like I can't read kanji or hiragana characters, so it's quite hard to identify what is what um, if it's packaged. Uh, fruit and veggies and stuff like that is fine because I can see what I'm buying, but um, other than that, yeah, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a challenge, a little bit of a mission, but I like it. Uh, oh. Haiku Onsen. Um, onsen is uh, hot springs, um, and there are thousands of onsens in Japan. And uh, because Japan has a lot of volcanoes, and um, as a result, they could have lots of um, hot springs up in the mountains. Uh, I went to one the other day, um, and with the SA crew, and um, the other artist Sharon, and it was uh, very interesting. Uh, what happened was we went up into the mountains with the air sear crew, uh, we go into a changing room and you get unchanged, fully unchanged and you're quite naked, um, which was quite uncomfortable I must admit, and then you uh, go into a, like, a little area where you line up and um, sit down on little stools and like wash and clean and wipe and wash and clean and wipe and you sit there and you're scrubbing and everyone's naked and you're in a long line of naked other people and um, and then when that's all done you go in into the into the hot springs and and, and relax <laughs> yeah so that was a bit of a challenge for me um, uh, hanging out with other people naked um, I felt really self-conscious about it but um, I think after about 10 minutes you get over it and then um, <laughs> yeah and then it's really nice it's beautiful and the scenery um, in the onsen out in the mountains and the springs is just oh, it's beautiful and you feel awesome when you're over and you're done and you come out feeling brand new yeah but um boys and girls are separated so it's you know there's two different areas so you're not you know all together it's not co-ed um but yeah it was fun it was amazing um highly recommend and on that note of nakedness, uh, SA crew took us out to uh, a photography exhibition by a Japanese photographer Sakiko Namura, uh, who is, was a student of Nobuyoshi uh, Araki. Um, and I, I loved it actually. I, I quite liked it. Um, there were quite a few photos. There were lots and lots of photos uh, uh, between different scales, like small and large. And uh, it. Uh, to me, it wasn't really about uh, nudity or sexuality. I think uh, what I got from it was um, it was about like 
subjects and the photos and and it had a real time based feel to it because of the I don't know the amount of photos that were shown and the quality of photos which there were quite a few blurred and it was just these moments in time and subjects stared directly at um, the camera and it was kind of projecting to me projecting some kind of internal I don't know loneliness or something it was quite sad and it I really liked it and um, and plus I hadn't seen I hadn't seen a big photography show in quite a while actually so that was that was really nice and the other thing about um, that space that gallery space is that um, actually, most of the gallery space is um, an outdoor wedding centre, uh, which the gallery owner rents out to people, uh, you know, obviously for weddings, and that's where uh, they get the money to fund uh, exhibitions, basically, to bring uh, bigger shows uh, to the space um, into Sapporo, because it's uh, there aren't there are few very few spaces in Sapporo that can get. Um, big exhibitions basically. And oh my gosh, guess what me and Sharon at Rio saw yesterday up in the Swedish hills? Ooh, we saw a fox and it was running around the streets up in the Swedish hills um, in a little bit in the country. Uh, I did initially want to go and find a bear or a tanuki but I think I'm satisfied with the fox uh, because bears and tanukis probably would attack me so that's cool. And this is me at the Sapporo Bear Museum. And yeah, this is what I learned at the end. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, I could sit here for another few hours drinking these actually. We also visited the Milk Museum. And uh, at the end, we ate lots of um, cheese, ice cream, and drank some milk, of course. And this is where I became a little bit suspicious of Sharon. <laughs> hey, look, it's Brookback Mountain. <laughs> oh, the, the ladies' version. What are you doing? Instead of our shirt. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's been really cool having Sharon around because um, we, you know, both speak English quite, quite well and uh, I think we use each other now and again to... Um, vent fast-paced English-speaking conversations, if you like, um, because yeah, you, I find that like I've been doing a lot of listening, um, having a lot of quiet time, a lot of you know just looking around, listening, because you can't really just you know spark up a conversation with anyone here, and uh, because not everyone will understand you, but that's also quite nice too. I, I like that as well. And a big arigato gozaimasu to Fuyuka-san and Emi-san for inviting us to the bread contest, which was like a sandwich contest, actually. Um, they've put on those events in the past um, where they've had bread-making competition, uh, dumpling, uh, curry contest. Um, so, yeah, this was quite nice. It was small and intimate, and um, I just wanted to play some footage from the... Uh, the end, uh, the, the the winner actually of this sandwich contest, uh, I took too much footage and I want to ed edit it up properly so by the end of the week hopefully I'll have that footage um, on YouTube and I will send out a link but um, congratulations to the winner, I forgot her name but um, yeah she she was a she she deserved to win actually so actually thank you for listening to this vlog and um i will update you for the next time